Hey guys, and welcome back to The Last of Us. Now, when we last left off... Stay down, I don't know how many more there are. Unfortunately, Tess... kind of met her untimely end. So, it's up to Joel and Ellie here to push on and try and hopefully actually make it to the Fireflies. I'm going to be fairly quiet in these next few videos guys because the missus has come home from work and she's really not very well so I'm going to try and be a little bit quiet. Hold your position. Right, let's go. <coughs> let's get you out of it. Oh sh shit. Okay. Didn't quite go to plan. And these guys are armoured as well. Oh fuck, that ain't great. But that Joe, could you get down? That'd be good. I'm just oh hello. That is not going very well. You're out of it. At least I hope you're out of it. And I've totally forgotten all the buttons because I'm kind of used to playing another game at the moment. Uh, another game that is quickly becoming one of my favourites. Uh, yeah, we got some medkits, so that's cool. Let's go get wrapped up. Um, okay. Bit of poor accuracy there on my part as well. Which, <laughs> yeah, well, that could have been better, let's be honest. Ooh, sneaky little sausage. Ooh, there we go. I have a brick. You can see these guys like actively hunt us down. He is trying his best to outmaneuver oh. us, but what is that over there? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, that was a stupid mistake on your part, pal. Idiot. Literally fucking like gift wrapped himself for me there. Ooh, hello. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Right, let's see if any of these idiots had any loot. Fingers crossed, they've got something we can use. A little bit wounded as well, but that's fine. You know, you would have thought there would be more ammo on these guys. From a realistic, uh, a realism standpoint, you know? Oh, hello. All right, over there, sweetheart. He's obviously guarding the rear. How many supplements do we have? 55, we need another 20. Fair play. Oh, right, so he's patrolling down there. I don't know if these guys are actually sensitive to our flashlight. I'm pretty sure they are. Now, is it just him? Hmm, probably not. It's probably more than one. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. Let's see if we can drag him out somehow. Oh, trust me, I intend on stepping out. But with any luck, I'll be able to step out and put my hands around your fucking neck, mate. Give it a nice twist. Hmm. Damn it, these guys are armoured. <laughs> yes, burn. <laughs> You're going to panic now, boy. I got another one of those as well, my friend. It's all yours if you want it. I won't even charge you. Where are you? Hey, my friend. Oh, yep. Good <gasps> fucking oh, no. night, son. Well, this guy's toast. 
not a lot left of him. Well, couldn't have happened to a nicer bloke, let's be honest. Government authority. Can kiss my ass. Uh, now. Uh, oh, not bad. Let's use some of this gear up. There we go. Well, you know what they say. Ooh. Why is that turning red? I have no idea. You know what they say, smoke them if you got them. No point taking them with ya. So fuck you guys. You know, they don't seem to mind too much. Like, usually when you burn enemies to death in a game, they really scream and give you the whole, you know, the whole uh, fucking Golden Globes. But these guys seem to take it in their stride. I suppose, you know, that's what happens. Life's tough in this universe, you know? So where we think burning to death is actually quite horrific, for them it's not really a big deal. It's just another... Another day in the life of a security grunt, I suppose. Ooh. Now you want to check your corners. Because I don't really want to miss out on any loot. I know, I know, we're not exactly hurting for loot, in fact. The argument could be made that we have too much. But I still don't want to miss any if I can help it. Yeah. Stay Thanks, on. Ellie. Thank you. Uh... I don't know if you've noticed, but I do actually have eyes in my head. At least I think I do. Unless that's just an illusion. Well, this place is certainly flooded. Doesn't look like there's any goodies around here. Oh well. Let's move on. Yeah, I do like those little security helmets they use. Not really sure how that would propel a rifle round. Or even a 5mm. Uh, 5mm. 9mm, if you think about it. You know, if a helmet's going to repel a bullet. Ooh. Oh, God. Move, 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 move. Yeah, you're going to have to get very lucky to repel something like that. Yeah, nice try, guys. Nice try. I appreciate the effort. Mm hmm. Welcome to Spore Town. Population us. Oof. Oh boy. No target. I repeat, no target. There's a soldier over there. Copy that. How the hell are you breathing in this stuff? I wasn't lying to you. You spot him? No, the place is empty. Please. I'll search out here. Go check down there. Mm-hmm, yes. Come to Papa Joel. Come on. Where the hell is this um, guy? Um, you might find him. You may well find him. Oh, come on. That was bollocks. No way you should have seen me. Well, I guess he did actually have a torch, so... Fine. I will buy your bullshit this time, game. Ah. What's the matter? You see your dead friend? Were you buddies? Drinking friends? Old pals? Oh, God. <laughs> it's me like... Whoa, did you see that shot? That was weird. Come on. There we go. Got you. Got your number, Sonny Jim. Good night. Throat punch. I suppose all you got to do is p to piss these guys off is to pull their marks masks off. Because, you know, game over, man. And I'm sorry, I refuse to believe these guys don't have any ammo or anything useful on them at all. I refuse to believe that. But hey, whatever game. Whatever. Alright. I think there's something down here actually. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, only five. Supplements. Okay, I couldn't remember if that was uh, supplements or ammo or something. But, you know, sure. What does that bring us up to? That brings us up to 60. That's not too bad, I suppose. Um, you know, the more I think about this listening mode distance, the more I'm kind of about it. Healing speed, I don't think is going to be that useful, honestly. Weapon sway is nice. Hmm. Not now. Okay, let's just keep examining. Hunting for tools and survival gear. Because we need our survival gear. We do like our survival gear in these parts. And this place, you know, this place has got to smell moldy. I think that's the way to go. I'm almost sure this is the way to go. Oh, water. Yeah, th yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the way to go. Cool. Right, in that case, let's have a little squiz down here. See if we can't find ourselves any nice, lootable goodies. Check this train also here as well, this carriage. You never know. Any fine Zubin cigars? Nothing at all? Really? A pocket watch, maybe? No. Fuck, I'll settle for a wallet right about now. Old vending machines. I bet they've long been looted out. God, what I wouldn't do for a drop of the good stuff. Ooh, really? There's nothing here? You know, I'm actually genuinely surprised that there's nothing here at all. That's kind of strange. I would have thought there would be some loot drops, some uh, pickups, that sort of thing. Even just some gear would have been nice, to be honest. But, fair enough. We shall go home empty-handed, at least for now. Anything in this carriage? I don't know if we search this one. They all look the same to me. Uh, no. Oh well. Hey, uh, I can't swim. <sighs> we'll figure yeah. something out. All right, Ellie. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. It's not as if she can sit on our shoulder. Ah, yeah. Can we actually go up here? Yeah, so. We can dive under. Can we get in here? We can. But is there actually anything in here? Probably not. Nope. Sounds like someone's screaming. Which is a little bit ominous. Ooh. Oh, that's Ellie. Fucking hell. <laughs> I thought that was a zombie. Alright. Oh, sorry. We can't call them zombies. They're infected. I remember. Can we swim faster? No. There's definitely something making some funky ass noise around here. Alright. Hmm. Nothing around here. Yeah, now we can't actually hold our breath for an infinite amount of time. I mean, it's not bad. Actually, we're going to start drowning in a minute. It's not bad, but yeah. I always used to, as a kid, I used to hate underwater sections. Because I was always paranoid. I always hated time limits and things like that. Early. Early. Is she actually, like, keeping up with us? And if she's going that way, why can't we go that way? It would kind of be nice and convenient. No, nope, I guess we can't go that way. Hmm, we can come up here though. There's a stiff. Can we go down there? Is that You're not gonna leave no, me here, right? No, maybe, possibly, haven't decided yet. 
No, of course not, Ellie. You're like the whole reason we're here. Smuggler's note. I do love these notes. Your contact is a dude named Frank. He's the guy on the outside I've been trading with. He wants into the Boston QZ. Meet him in the Park Street exit uh, of the subway station, right by the Capitol building. Attached is his visa and QC papers. You like that handiwork? Be careful down there. Some of my guys are reporting clickers and stalkers in the area. Where the hell is this guy? I've been waiting here for over two hours, sweating bullets. I keep thinking I'm seeing something move in the shadows. Feels like a stalker is going to jump out at me any second now. I'm giving him another 15 minutes and then I'm heading back. Dude. Looks like you waited 15 minutes too long, my friend. Oh. I actually see stuff over there. Look at that. It's definitely a bottle of something. Not sure if this is actually the way to go. Is this the right way to go? Just Ooh, stay put. Close. Yeah, I guess. Oh, yeah, this is like a firefly place. So I'm guessing this is like a bonus little loot area. That's cool. Right, do we have anything under the water? I wouldn't say no. Ooh. Um, can we... Oh, I guess I did pick that stuff up. Kind of a bit weird with no animation. Yeah, I can only imagine, like, how rough this place smells. Can we swim out the window? Because we're going to drown. And drowning is not optimal, let's be fair. Look at this place. Let's have another little look down here, see if we haven't missed anything. I don't think we've missed anything. I mean, it is kind of... Oh, yeah, we have. Oh, Firefly Pendant. Oh, we can't view shit underwater. Who'd have thunk it, right? Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, let's go back down. That was actually a little hidden area. Uh, I was not expecting there? that. It's a dead end. It's a dead end, but there was stuff. You know, it wasn't a total loss or anything like that. Ah, we can swim down here. Or at least wade down here. That's quite cool. Alright. Not seeing an awful lot here, to be honest, Ellie. Now, what have we got? Ah, hello. I've got a ladder. Spoopy. So actually, and we've got a little board there that we can get her to uh, kind of like swim across with. Did I say swim across? I mean, we're going to have to get her on that and push her across. Kind of, I don't know, it's a weird idea. Uh, it's something that this game does a lot. And... Yeah, it works. It works. I guess learning to swim isn't really something that would be that important in this universe. Um, this is probably a bad idea. Yeah, we, like I don't like the swimming in this. In, in close quarters, it's really fiddly. I get the like we should be able to swim faster I think there should be some kind of like sprint underwater if that makes sense but I don't think there is let me just try that a minute because no it doesn't look like it not that underwater no no there's no way of speeding up underwater which is a little bit sucky but what can you do alright I suppose that leaves us one option. Yeah. Got to wrestle with the physics. Come on. Come on. There we go. A little bit more. Yeah, Ellie. Stop playing with your dead friend and get on. <sighs> get on. Really? Really, really. Ellie. Okay, okay. 
Be careful. You're not gonna drown, Ellie. Even if you did fall into the water, I'm pretty sure Joe's got you. I'm just saying. You have very little to worry about. Um, now, where are we dropping you to? I'm guessing the ladder. Maybe? Oh, I guess anywhere this side works. Um. Ellie, a little help, please. There's something shining over there, I think. I might just do the right. I got it. Alright. Not bad, Ellie. Not bad at all. You're definitely starting to pull your own weight, which I like. I can appreciate that, you know? It's not so bad uh, when you have a game that's essentially um, one giant escort mission. But the character that you're the partner character is actually useful. Let's get out of here. Remember Resident Evil 4? I like that game. I like that game a lot. But Ashley was, let's be honest, Ashley was AIDS. I did not like her one bit. Also, by ooh, nice. You know what? That that looks good. That looks so good. Light at the end of the tunnel. Um, ooh. Yeah, Bioshock Infinite, man. Hey, look, um, about Tess, I, I don't even know what Here's how this thing's gonna play out. You don't bring up Tess, ever. Matter of fact, we just keep our histories to ourselves. Secondly, don't tell anybody about your condition. They think you're crazy, they'll try to kill you. And lastly, you do what I say when I say it. We clear? Sure. Repeat it. What you say goes. Good. Uh, now there's a town a few miles north of here. There's a fella there that owes me some favors. Good chance he could get us a car. Okay. Let's get a move on. Mm-hmm. Well, there we go. Yeah, it'll be faster to go through here. <coughs> yeah, not sure if it's going to be safe to go through here. Man. What? Nothing, it's just... I've never seen anything like this, that's all. You mean the woods? Yeah. Never walked through the woods. It's kind of cool. <laughs> There used to be a shadow bug here. I mean, it's still kind of there a little bit. When this game first got patched. Um, okay. Why don't you just take me back to Marlene? If she was up to the task, why'd she drop you off on us? Well, maybe she's mm. better now. Kid, I don't mean to upset you, but your friend's chances of survival weren't too high to begin with. She's a lot tougher than you think. It don't matter. Because I doubt I can get either one of us back into the city at one piece. Trust me. I wish there were some other option. Yeah, unfortunately, Ellie, for the time being, we're kind of stuck with each other. We, ooh, we're going to have to see this through. It's easy to feel sorry for Ellie, uh, the way Joel treats her, but at the same time, you've got to kind of appreciate the situation that he's been thrown into. You know, he's, ooh, yep. he's just lost his, like, potentially only friend in the world I mean Joel and Tessa's relationship was never really fleshed out which is a shame um, ooh, I think it should have been because there's definitely history there and it's very interesting It'd be nice to see that brought up in another game 
All right. Well, let's have a little look around. Oh, hey, buddy. Who are you talking to? <laughs> You've got to love Ellie's personality as well. It really is organic. It's really good. I'm wondering because, I mean, I'm pretty sure they've already announced that in part two we're playing as Ellie, which is cool. And I'm wondering if she's going to get a partner character. Maybe she is with Joel, and you play as Ellie throughout the majority of the game. But I think, I don't know, because Ellie looks grown up, Joel's getting old. Oof, I've stayed away from pretty much all spoilers of the second game. I don't want to know. I want to go into it completely blind. I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, there's certain parts of the environment here that are showing its age, but <laughs> it's very nice. The little details. Oh, shit. Well, shit. Uh, there's not a lot we can do for now. Should we climb it? No. Wire on the top, but we gotta find a way to go around. <laughs> Whoa, look. Ooh. Fireflies. Yeah. I mean, real fireflies. <laughs> yeah, I see that. <laughs> oh, bless her. Sorry. I lost myself. For hey, man. You do whatever you need to. Nice little bit of respite from the chaos. She's never seen nature or anything like that. Never been out in the wilds be like look. before. <laughs> now this is nice. So now we can actually upgrade our melee uh, weapons. Um, which is really nice. Improve any melee weapon to kill enemies with one hit. The upgrade has limited uses, however. It will break off when its durability has depleted. Yeah. Um, as you can see, uh, if you look on the right, at the bottom, we've got our melee weapon with the small dots. That indicates how many hits it has. And the big... <coughs> Uh, dot underneath that is how many times we can use the upgrade and the upgrade is a one hit kill it is really useful and now we can actually use the same materials it takes to build a shiv to upgrade I believe any melee weapon as we go through the game I think we can upgrade that so it actually lasts longer I think you can get like two hits out of it, maybe three hits out of it at the end. I'm not sure. I can't remember. What about this? Oh, what you found, Ellie? Oh, nice find, Ellie. Nice find. Shit. No, around here either. No. Joel, listen to Ellie for once. I appreciate she is just a kid. Quote. But she's not useless. Far from useless. In fact, she's quite a smart cookie. There we go. That'll do, Donkey. That'll do. Ooh. Hey, you, Bill. Where do you usually meet him? Huh? Different places. You've never been here, have you? I know this is where he lives, but no, I ain't never been here personally. And that smoke, you think that's him? Sure as hell better be. Well, let's go check it mm -hmm. out then. Right. Right, come on. Guess that's all we can do for now. Uh, let's hope that he's still alive. I mean, this place looks fairly hostile. I mean, it's it's actually quite quiet at the moment, but you know what I mean? This place, I would imagine, can be fairly hostile. Alright, what we got here? More broken down vehicles. Ooh, stuff. Oh, brick, yes. I do like having a melee weapon. It's so useful to stun enemies with. I don't often use it as a distraction. Uh, on certain, on, on higher difficulties it can be useful. But for the majority of the time, it's nice to just use it as a stun. Because as you've seen, 
It is crazy effective. All right. Down here. Just watch your step. It's a good drop. Mm. There could be anything in these shadows. <coughs> Oof. Just like that. And anyway, guys, with that, I'm going to call this video right here. I think we've made some decent progress. Um, and in the next episode, we're going to carry on and hopefully find Bill, whoever this Bill character is. Hmm. If he's living out here on his own outside the QZ, he's got to be a fairly interesting character, I would wager. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.